Shabbat Shalom. It's Ruvain Ibrahimov, the Haftorah man. This week's Haftarah, Parashat Shmini. In it, the dedication of the Mishkan. So the men of the Great Assembly, the Anshe Knesset Hagdola, said we need to pick a, pick a Haftarah that's thematically connected to the parasha. So what do they pick? Hey, David HaMelech, King David, is now making the procession to bring the Ark, the Aron HaKodesh, to Yerushalayim, where one day it will be placed inside the Beit HaMikdash, the Holy Temple. So what's the story? First, we want to know who David was. Oh, everybody says, King David. He wrote to Elim. His mother was a great grandmother was Ruth, and that he played musical instruments, the harp. We associate him with David and Goliath, that you have his great son, Shlomo HaMelech, that David married Bathsheba. That is a wonderful story, not a Haftarah, but that you also see that David HaMelech is attributed, that he did live to 70 years, but David HaMelech is attributed with after Shabbat to Uda Revi'i, the fourth meal that they make on Motzei uh, Shabbat after Shabbat. Why? Because the Midrash says that David HaMelech spoke to Hashem, spoke to God, and said, God, I want to know the day that I'm going to pass away. And Kaddish Baruch Hu, Shalom, says, David HaMelech, I can't reveal that to you. Because then you do whatever you want, and until the last moment, then you do your last minute teshuvah. So God is now being begged by David. Okay, you don't have to tell me the day I pass away. Tell me what day of the week I pass away. Rabboni Shalom has a little rachamim. Has a, the Lord has a little mercy on him. And what does he do? He says, okay, you're going to die on Shabbat. So David HaMelech knew one thing. He knew that Malach HaMavet, the angel of death, cannot get to you if you're engaged in learning Torah. So from the beginning of Shabbat, David HaMelech, it is said, would study Torah and that he would be involved in learning Torah so that he would be protected. So every Shabbat that was finished, that he didn't pass away on, he knew he had another seven days, six, seven days to live. So he would make this big su'udat rivi'i. He would make this very special after Shabbat party, Malava Malke, so that uh, we commemorate and attribute it to David HaMelech. So now, what is the Haftarah? We're reading from the book of Shmuel Bet, and we're reading in Pasuk, Perek Vav, the Psukim, the Pesukim, on how David is now moving on a cart with assistance towards Yerushalayim, the Aron HaKodesh, the Ark of the Covenant, that had the Luchot in it, and you could imagine this was the national treasure. And they're proceeding with fanfare. If you look inside, it says, Uve Charnot, Uve Valim, Uve Tufim, Uve Na'anaim, Uve Tziltzalim. All the musical instruments, the drums, the strings, the horns, and the tambourines, the cymbals, all four categories of musical instruments. It was a full blown band, orchestra celebrating the procession. One of the men named Uzzah that was standing behind the cart as it was proceeding towards Yerushalayim is there that as they got to the threshing floor of this man, Nachon, what happened is it hit something on the floor, the wheels, and that the ark started to appear that it was going to hit the ground. Uzzah impulsively reaches down and goes to prevent it from hitting the floor. Guys, don't we remember that the Levium used to carry the ark, but then when they would have to cross a river, the ark would levitate, levitate, levi, levium, lifted. I think we have a Hebrew origin of an English word. The ark would levitate itself, and it would move. The Levium holding on to the poles as it would cross over the water. So why do you need human beings to hold up the ark? That is why, and that will explain what happened to Uzzah, that he died, and that it was a very scary thing that David Amalek saw that this man was trying to save it from falling on the ground, but in the Midas Hadin, in justice court, 
It showed lack of faith. And how would God ever let something like that happen? Tough call. So now David is a little shaken up. And he says, you know what? Maybe it's not time for us to move the ark towards Yerushalayim. Let's wait till things calm down. Months go by, and now they start again. But they go like this. Seven steps, and they stop, and they make korban. Okay, Hashem, you accept korban? We're doing the right thing? And it says that they did this repeatedly until they finally get to the city of Jerusalem. And that now it says that once the ark was brought to the city of Jerusalem and it was sitting and waiting for the sun to build the Beit HaMikdash, years later, David HaMelech offered sacrifice to Hashem. And the Haftarah concludes with David HaMelech distributing many kinds of food. So the word festival is a feast. But you also have the word carnival, carnivorous. So maybe that's the origin of the word that they didn't eat meat all the time. And that because it was a special celebration, they didn't just have their hummus and tahina and pickles, but they actually had a piece of meat which was expensive for rich people. So this was the celebration that the Jewish people had. Shabbat Shalom. Enjoy the Haftarah for Parashat Shemili. That the lesson that we learned is that we must have absolute faith in connection to God and trust in what God said He's going to do, He's going to do. we got to believe. Shabbat Shalom.